Today's episode is about the seven P's will bring you more profits, more peace, more margin, and more competitive advantage. Let's dive in. So let's say you're sitting down to write out your master plan for your business, whether it's a brand new business or you're just reviewing what you've been doing in your current business and you're thinking about the new year, you can use these seven P's to really make a huge difference in the outcome of your business in the coming year. And it doesn't have to be at the end of the year or at the beginning of the year. Any day can be New Year's Day. So what are the seven P's? Number one, prepare yourself physically, mentally, emotionally for the coming new year, whether it's actually January 1 or you're just declaring that today is the start of a new year for you, because it is. How do you prepare? Mentally, physically, psychologically, through your calendar, through trips you know you're going to be taking. Anything you're going to be doing in your business or in your life will benefit from preparation. As the saying is, prior preparation prevents poor performance. Those are some bonus P's. So prepare. You know what needs to be prepared. Do it. Prepare it. Number two, propose a new contract with a new customer. Propose renewing to an existing customer. Every time you ask a customer to buy, you're making a proposition. You're making an offer. The more offers you make, the more money you will produce for your company. Propose more offers to more clients. Number three, promote. So many of my clients and students I discover have great product offerings or great service offerings or great software, whatever it is you sell. They just don't tell enough people about it. They don't promote it enough. How do I know? Because often their customers will say things like, I never knew you had this. Why didn't you tell me about this before? Your customer never knows as much about your offerings as you do. So promote what you have for sale more often. Number four, prove that what you do actually works for the people who have the problem you help solve. I know you claim that it works, but proving it works is so much more effective. How do you do that? Have your clients tell the story of their success using your stuff. Prove it. Dan Kennedy is famous for saying, don't bring a little bit of evidence to support your case. Bring a preponderance of proof. P number five, promise results. We become an industry that's so afraid of being held accountable to what we claim we can do for people. We don't want to make any promises. And while there are certain things you cannot promise, like you can't promise anything that depends on someone else's effort. As a physical trainer, I can't promise you're going to get six pack abs because I don't control what you're going to eat or how many sit-ups you're going to do. What I can promise is to give you a program of exercises, movements, and dietary recommendations that will get you there if you actually follow through and do the things I'm recommending you do. So make more promises. Just make sure they're promises you can and will keep because a promise made is a debt unpaid. P number six, produce. Produce the results you promise you're gonna produce. Don't promise it if you can't produce it. Produce the quality of product or instruction or coaching or book that you claim to produce. In other words, let your yes be yes, your no be no. Do what you say you'll do when you say you'll do it. It's an old fashioned value that never goes out of style. P number seven is preeminence. Jay Abraham talks about the strategy of preeminence. What is the strategy of preeminence? Be so good at what you do. Be so many levels better. Serve your clients and customers so much better than anybody ever imagined or expected or dreamed was possible. They wouldn't dream of using anyone else to do what you do. In fact, they don't know anyone else who does what you do because what you do is viewed as a category all unto itself. You become a category of one by practicing the strategy of preeminence. Use these seven P's and power your business into a new area of preeminence, of power, position, and profits. And until next time, God bless you. And I pray for you that you have long life and you continue to prosper with purpose. Mm -hmm.